Our statement is entitled Interreligious Council of Kenya rejects the financial bill 2024 appealing to the conscience of the nation. Isaiah 10 verses 1 to 2 says what to those that make unjust laws to those who issue oppressive decrees to deprive the poor of their rights and withhold justice from the oppressed of my people making widows their prey and robbing the fatherless the quran also tells us and cooperate with one another in virtuous conduct and conscious and do not cooperate with one another in sin and hostility and fear Allah Allah is severe in punishment the Bhagavad Gita chapter 15 verse 7 also says all souls are equal and part of the family of God Religious leaders in Kenya stand in solidarity with the citizens voicing rejection for the Financial Bill 2024. The Finance Bill 2024 has galvanized palpable citizens' political moment across the country, fronted by the youth, vehemently resisting the assertive push by the government to pass the infamous bill, which is said to introduce punitive taxes. A keen analysis shows that Finance Bill 2024 does not seek to raise the sum of Kenyan shillings 3.4 trillion, that is the estimated budget for the financial year 2024-2025, but only seeks to raise an additional 346 billion shillings to the 2023-2024 government revenue projection. If the proposed taxes are rejected by way of rejecting the 2024 financial bill, Kenya Revenue Authority will still collect 3.4 trillion shillings, less 346 billions in the next financial year. The Interreligious Council of Kenya, therefore, calls on the government to consciously engage Kenyans in an honest discussion as opposed to scaremongering that the government will shut down for lack of money if the finance bill 2024 is not passed. We religious leaders state as follows. Interreligious Council is gravely concerned about the rising political temperatures and disconnect between the government and the people of Kenya. The ongoing constitutional guaranteed public demonstration against the punitive taxes proposed in the Financial Bill 2024 are an eyesore because police officers are using excessive force, which has sadly led to the death of two young Kenyans. We condole with the families of the two who have lost their lives and ask independent police oversight authority to conduct speedy investigation to give the families closure. We also send our sympathies to those who have been injured during the demonstrations. We stand in solidarity with the youth that have engaged in peaceful demonstrations and we commend them for that. The Finance Bill 2024 is a Kenyan agenda and we support them fully. Interreligious Council of Kenya therefore rejects the financial bill 2024 and demands its withdrawal and so that it can eliminate all those punitive tax measures proposed in it. This is not a push by the youth alone. Over 85% of Kenyans stand in solidarity with the youth and we firmly call for the withdrawal of the finance bill 2024. His Excellency President William Ruto and his administration top leadership should come alive to the fact that Kenyans are overburdened by the high cost of living. The government should not make life bad harder by introducing new taxes. On the basis, it should withdraw financial bill 
2024. Thank you, and we'll allow some questions <laughs> from the media. Thank you. The case coming. I need to be around here. <laughs> you, are the, you are the problem in this country. <laughs> the chest coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did your assistant, I was looking for you. Oh. <laughs> no, this is She has not been paid. So I think she was quite bad. Sujeta. Exactly. If you don't want her. I went to them and I went to Nigeria. Sally. See you, Moja. Yes, I'm on. It's your brother. Council of Kenya Muslim, we have National Muslim Leaders Forum, and we also have the Seven Day Adventists and the Hindu Council of Kenya. I think those are nine. I don't know what we present to you the new chairman of the Interreligious Council of Kenya, who is none other than I've been chairing the Interreligious Council of Kenya for the last seven years, and I'm humbled to say and to thank you, media, for working with the Inter. Yes, any questions? Today there are, there are I no think questions. our statement is uh, speak for itself. Yeah. Thank you.